are in Hong Kong for 48 hours and I thought we would do a little vlog. This is our second time coming to Hong Kong. The first time we really liked it. This time is just a shorter stay. We're going to eat a lot of good food, kind of hang around the city. So we are taking you along with us. Just took the train from Guangzhou to Hong Kong. It was actually really fast, like only an hour and a half. And now we've checked into our hotel and we're just walking around getting some food. This place, Potato Corner, it is so random, but for some reason, it's so good. It's literally just french fries. And then I think we're gonna get some like egg waffle too. Got, what is this? Is this called egg rolls? No. I don't know what they're called. What are they called? Waffle. Egg, egg waffle. This one's pearl gray. Chili barbecue fries. Mm. They're not too sweet. tea was so good and it was only like 50 a person now we walked uh, towards causeway bay there's this bookstore that's apparently pretty so now we're gonna go check that out there's a lot of people super busy found a board game section that has all these like and Asian inspired board games. This one's called Durian Dash. This one's called Hop Hog Havoc. Which one should we get? Players will visit different plantations to collect durian. <laughs> you have to watch out for rotten durian. This one is the annual Hop Hog Hot Pot Havoc Challenge. Cook, dip, and eat your way to victory. What do you want to get? We should get one. Durian one, one seems easier to play. It's so cute. What a bag. Plantopia? Plantopia? Plantopia. Oh, <laughs> this is so cute! What the heck? It's Marian Dash, it is.
Good morning from Hong Kong. It is uh, day two. We are leaving tomorrow morning, so it is our last day in Hong Kong. I don't know if it's just me, but sometimes I just love like revisiting a place, like traveling there for the second time because it just feels more familiar and you know like the things that you want to do there and you've seen like the tourist places. So that's kind of how it's feeling this time, even though we are only here for 48 hours. Today, we are going to go to a cha cha ten where it's kind of just like very simple Hong Kong food one of my favorite things to get from there is just instant ramen with spam and egg it's just like the most simple breakfast but it's just like comfort food for me for some reason and then i love to get a hong kong style milk tea afterwards honestly i think we're just going to just roam around we don't have anything really planned at all just see what there's to do maybe check out a cute cafe this is such a nice time to come to hong kong because last time we were here in july it was burning hot in october like the weather is honestly just perfect and it's just like the perfect weather to just walk around and explore breakfast and now we are walking around Wong Kai like this little alleyway and it's honestly so cute there's a lot of uh, coffee shops here oh this is the matcha now so aesthetic oh we're trying to find this coffee shop called blend and grind I do not see it building which is right over here we saw it last time but i remember it was so hot that we ended up just staying for like a minute we were getting like a heat stroke but wow right there so cool huh like if you see this you just know it's hong kong a lot of people take photos here too Hong Kong without eating some Hong Kong dessert. I got the mango pomelo with sago and coconut milk with grass jelly. I don't think you're gonna like this one. Well, I don't like that one. It's so slimy. The grapefruit is good. It's a mellow. What? It is. I love this. I like both of these. But I kind of like this one a little more. Really? You kind of like this? I converted him. We didn't realize until we got here that this is literally the same mall that we went to however, how many many years has it been? Five years ago? When we came to Hong Kong and got the same dessert. Like I just searched it up and I didn't realize it was in the same mall. It's pretty much like the same spot that we were sitting in like five years ago so. Yeah. What is this thing called? Mid-level escalator. It doesn't look very cool, but it's on a slope. You don't have to climb the stairs. Now 
we just rode it all the way to the end. It took about 45 minutes, but it was pretty cool, I must say. There's like residential buildings all along it. Thank you.